This is Hidden Pearl, a 58 foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2008 by Price Fallows and she was fitted out by Suffolk Narrowboats. A really nice job. She's had the same owner since new. They used her as a holiday boat for the first few years and they've actually lived aboard continuously cruising for the last five. She's really well looked after. She was last black this year, January 2017. Regularly serviced. Next service is booked for the 9th of December, which the owners will pay for. So on into the well deck we go. Gas lockers in the bows. Bench seats either side of the well deck. And in we go. Really lovely boat, fitted out in oak, solid oak floor. The owners, as I say, are currently living on her, so some of what you see will not be part of the sale. Essentially, it's freestanding furniture will be going, not part of the sale. Storage under the steps. Television here in the corner. There's a little inverter in the cupboard there, 150 watt. That charges phones and things if you don't want to use the, the big inverter. Stove opposite the television. The bus star windows open, they tilt forward, but they are actually removed completely as well, which is great for lots of air on a hot day, but also security. So they all just come out. Here we go, that's the saloon. Lovely room. Eleven feet long. On into the dinette. This drops down and very easily converts into a double berth. There's a display cabinet, it's got toughened glass for safety. A bookcase under that bench and a wine rack here. There's further storage under the rest of the dinette seats. There's a radiator, the central heating on board is a Eber Spacker system, diesel fired. The washing machine is under there. That's a good idea, it's a twin tub washing machine. Here's the first aid cabinet with wine glasses in. The New World cooker underneath, four burner gas hob, oven and grill. Stainless steel sink with drawers and cupboard under. And the fridge is a shoreline, 12 volt, a nice box. It's hard to work out what's for supper looking at that, but I'm sure it'll be jolly nice. So we go, that's the view from the galley. Lots of space, lots of light. Down the corridor on the port side of the boat, there's copious shelving here for CDs, books, whatever you like. And on into the bathroom. Ceramic sink, those pine drawers will be going. The loo is a Thetford cassette. There are two cassettes on board. It's an electric flush. Some good shelf space to the left of the shower here. It's a bifold door, glass bowl, bifold door on the shower here. And the door into the bathroom itself is a sliding one. Down into the bedroom, past another radiator. Bed is six foot long by four feet, storage underneath. The child gate there, which is for the dogs. And there's a good sized wardrobe at the head of the bed. It goes full length to the floor, but the door's mattress level, and there are cupboards above it. LED lighting throughout on this boat. The inverter, 1600 watt Victron is in here along with the solar power controller. There are three solar panels on the roof, 100 watts each. A good sized cupboard here that's got the golf clubs in it at the moment. Storage under the step that opens, not that middle one clearly. 
Good size bedroom, that's 11 foot 4 inches long. Reverse carefully up the steps. Very neat electrical arrangements. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. That windscreen actually comes out, so you can motor without the screen. If you want a roof, alternatively, the whole pram hood does very easily collapse. It's a good size well deck, uh, stern deck rather, six feet long. There she is, Hidden Pearl. Bit of a gem, if you look, excuse the pun. For further information, a fully downloadable brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.